What's up guys, JV2017 here, and it's been a while since I've done a vlog, a while since you guys have seen my face, so I kind of wanted to touch base because a few big things are happening, and I also want to give you guys kind of a, uh, a vision for the future of my channel and what I'm planning on doing. So um, the two big things we're going to be talking about here today is me switching multi-channel networks from Machinima to a company called TGN. So I'll explain the effects that has on you guys, and also... Fallout 4, I'm very excited for this game to come out, and it's only 25 days away, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. So let's start with TGN and my multi-channel network. So as of either tomorrow or uh, Monday, October 19th, as I'm recording this video, I will no longer be a part of Machinima. Uh, I am opting out of our current agreement, and it's been almost five years, crazy long time. And um, essentially the reason that I am switching is uh, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, money is a big reason. I'll be getting paid more now, uh, the amount that I feel that I deserve, and also um, more viewership. This uh, new company, TGN, which is part of a bigger um, MCN called BBTV, uh, has you know ways to get me more views, and that's a big incentive for me. They're also a lot more communicative. I can actually get a hold of them if I have an issue, and uh, Overall, this is just a really, really good change for me, and I'm glad that it's happening. So um, I'm making that switch. Nothing's going to happen to my content at all. There's no changes. There's no restrictions. Nothing like that is going to happen in terms of content. So you guys don't have to worry about that. It's just that I'm not going to be a part of Machinima anymore, and I will be a part of TGN. If you don't know what TGN is, uh, big name is Jericho. Jericho is part of TGN. So just to give you guys a frame of reference there. Um, now let's talk about my current content with Destiny Tips and Tricks video. So really over the past month since The Taken King has come out, uh, it's been my goal to provide consistent six videos per week. And I've done that for a solid month. And in my opinion, these are very high quality videos. Um, this is my best stuff. This is the best that I could possibly do um, given the amount of time that I have with school. You know, I'm a full-time student. You know, I come home. I do my homework done and I make a video and that's like a routine. It's what I've been doing. And, um, really, I think I can chalk down my, uh, my results that I've been getting down to, uh, the competition is a big factor. Um, my competition, people are making destiny tips and tricks videos, uh, just like I am are either more well-established. They've been doing it longer and more consistently than me. I mean, I covered Destiny when it first came out, but I had a huge gap of time because I just didn't like the game anymore. I didn't know what else to talk about with the game. So um, either my competition is either more established or they're first. They're uploading these videos before I even can. And uh, a lot of the British guys that do Destiny videos, you know, everything starts over there across the pond uh, like six hours before it does over here. And then you add that onto the fact that, again, I'm a student. I don't even make videos until I'm done with all of my college, um, you know, obligations. And so really, uh, I'm just behind the curve uh, by default in terms of building up a Destiny channel, in my opinion. And this has just been my observation. And again, I think I'm making very high quality videos. I think if the circumstances were different and I was making Destiny videos constantly over the past year, I think my channel would be up there with the competition, but it's not. And the views are not getting better, they're actually getting worse. So really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue the same trajectory, I'm gonna continue for uh, the next month. It's kinda gonna be my trial period with Destiny. I'm gonna release some weapon guides, maybe some exotic armor guides, just whatever kind of content that I feel is good for you guys that will help you out and uh, that I feel like making. And um, that's going to really determine whether I continue with Destiny after November 10th, because everyone knows November 10th is the release of Fallout 4. And let's talk about that. It's less than four weeks away, like I said, 25 days away. And I will absolutely cover Fallout 4 no matter what upon release. And I'm actually thinking about doing some pre-release content and uh, releasing that starting, you know, maybe even this week. Um, but something else I should mention about TGN and Machinima, I may not be releasing any videos this weekend because of that change. Um, I'm not going to release any videos when I'm not under a, uh, any kind of partnership. I don't want to deal with any copyright issues. Um, so I'm just not going to put any videos out, um, in the in-between time. And that's only going to be like a day or two. So you guys don't have to worry about that. But anyways, back to Fallout 4. I want to do some pre-release content to kind of build excitement with you guys and maybe pull in some more viewers. Um, so I don't know exactly what that's going to be like, but I have been working in 
uh, with graphics and making it very presentable, which is a big part of what I do. Um, I take pride in that. So I'm going to really focus on that and preparing this channel for Fallout 4. So like I said, Fallout 4 may take over for Destiny as my primary source of content. Um, there's so many things I could do with Fallout 4. And I think it's going to be a real treat to share this experience with you guys. And so I uh, hope you're looking forward to it. And let me know if Fallout 4 is something you are excited to see on my channel. Or if you're just generally excited for the game to come out like I am. Very, very excited. So uh, the last thing I want to touch on very briefly is streaming. And the problem with streaming is I want to go back to it. I think it's a great idea for Fallout. Maybe even streaming Fallout 4. But it's just going to be so hard to fit the time in for it. And I think if there was just a massive demand from you guys for me to stream, I might just have to do it. But only if there's a big demand because, you know, if I'm going to stream, there's going to have to be like a certain amount of people watching. And then that that content's going to have to be watched, you know, residually, like after the fact, people are going to have to come back and watch the streams. You know, it's a it's kind of since I am a student, it's kind of a push pull kind of thing. It's like. Is it worth dedicating this huge amount of time to streaming when I could just make a really solid Fallout 4 video for you guys? You guys could just watch it whenever. You know, that's really um, the struggle there. So let me know if streaming is something you want to see in a kind of a Fallout context uh, here on my channel. Last thing, my 21st birthday is coming up this weekend. I'm very excited. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I might have my first alcoholic drink as a legal person. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that'll be fun. And anyways, what else do I have to say? Go Cowboys. Um, I hate to be a Rangers fan right now and, um, I'm lo really looking forward to Fallout 4. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're looking forward to future content on my channel. As always, let me know what you're thinking in it, in your entirety in the comment section below. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.